Good morning, dear friends and colleagues. First of all, let me apologize for not being present in Thailand. And um, I wish to thank you for the invitation. But uh, things beyond my control um, stopped me from traveling one day before. Uh, so we decided that would be a good idea if I make a presentation for you uh, so you can um, also see uh, what I was going to uh, present to you. Uh, I'm going to present the Science, Technology and Innovation Policy in Peru. The CONCITEC is the National Council for Science, Technology and Innovation of, of Peru and it's in charge of all the policies and promotions of STI. We have the leading role both in policy and in promotion, in all the aspects of the production line of knowledge, from fundamental research to the revenue growth in firms. For that, we have developed the national strategy for the development of science, technology and innovation, that's called Crear para Crecer, which means create for growth. In this document that um, anybody can obtain from our web page, uh, you can see all the strategy year by year, the instruments, the main problems and the analysis that we, we have made. Um, basically, we have five uh, lines in which we want to work. First of all, uh, we, have, we want to promote social inclusion and poverty reduction. Uh, we want to stimulate the diversification of production and sustainable competitiveness of Peru and firms in Peru, the private sector. We want to train human resources to generate and incorporate knowledge technologies and innovations in productive and social processes. And also we would like a better society and we want this society to learn about the social value of science, technology and innovation as a key element for development. We also want to improve the public management of, of science, technology and innovation based on studies and results. Because um, money is not infinite, uh, we have some programs that we have prioritized. Uh, one of which is aquaculture. The other one, that's, uh, that is from one ministry. Um, but the rest of programs are transversal programs. And these are biotechnology, which involves biotechnology for mining, for health, for agriculture, for environment. Uh, the program of material sciences, the program for environment sciences, and information and communication technologies and technology transfer. In that sense, we have created different instruments and funding op opportunities uh, in those programs, so thematic programs, but also uh, that um, our instruments um, attack the different areas that I uh, mentioned uh, before, from fundamental research to the revenue growth. So we have created instruments to promote centers of excellence that go from applied research to the production of prototypes. Also, we have created the instrument of grand challenges. We call it audacious ideas. And this um, instrument, Grand Challenges Peru, is also for applied research up to revenue growth. We have created instruments to stimulate people to work in partners, and we call it research circles. Also, we, have, we are strengthening human capital by giving scholarships uh, to study abroad, PhDs, but also to reinforce the master's and PhD programs inside Peru. Uh, we have another instrument called Communication with the World to teach um, languages and other uh, instruments to, att to attract talents to Peru, both Peruvians and foreign talents. And also we give money, um, uh, grants, to projects for research, development and innovation. 
Also, we finance publications of science, technology, and innovation. So we have many instruments. Uh, we call them Formula C, um, Generación Científica, which means scientific generation, Scientists Inc., which is to work to all together, the Audacious Ideas or Grand Challenges, Peru, Evolution Tech, Enfoque, which is for applied research, Magnet for talent attraction, Publi Science uh, to funding, for funding uh, publications, books and articles, and events. Congress for science and technology, and Congress seminars for innovation. In strengthening human capital, we um, give um, uh, grants to master's programs at Peruvian universities. We um, give the money, we, we give the grant to the university, to the master program, so they can reinforce and get better each time. And then with, with part of that money, they open the um, exams, examinations to all the applicants uh, from Peru, and they accept the best students. Through that, with that money also, the students get a um, monthly stipend of nearly $1,000 a month. So this is a win-win uh, program. We have the same uh, system for PhD programs at Peruvian universities. In the case of PhD scholarships at foreign universities, we are focusing on the 150 best universities of the world, and in that case, we give um, the scholarship to students that have a letter of acceptance from those universities. We have begun this year. Um, we also um, give money to institutions uh, for hiring postdoctoral researchers at Peruvian universities, institutes, and scientific and technological research centers. In, in the area of supporting production of knowledge, we uh, give grants in a competitive basis for research at universities and institutes, grants for publications, books, magazines, in index journals, articles in refereed journals. And also we provide access to the, um, different um, databases, to public universities and public research institutes. Uh, the databases are Science Direct and Scopus, among others. Those are, were the first ones. Uh, we also promote collaborative research. Uh, we give uh, grants. Everything is on a competitive basis. Research circles that promote collaborative research in areas related to productive sectors. We give more than um, 500,000 US dollars for each uh, group of researchers. Uh, our uh, Grand Challenges Peru uh, contest that we would like to promote solving priority problems through the application of knowledge in three areas, health, environment, and agriculture. And we give up to $1 million for each project. In the centers of excellence, uh, each center of excellence is geared to solve problems of a strategic importance for productive areas. And we give up to uh, a little bit more of $7 million for each center uh, for five years. What are the bottlenecks of our policies in science, technology, and innovation? First of all, the difficulties in coordination between all the actors. There are always in a country, in a democratic country, different visions among ministerial sectors. Um, we don't have an evaluation and monitoring system well developed to follow uh, projects, programs, even researchers. And also we have few human talents on management on, of science, technology and innovation. So we have lack of a strategic and opera operative capacity and we have resistance to bring foreign talent inside Peru. About the bottlenecks in legal aspects, there is an inadequate rega regulatory framework for science, technology and innovation. 
um, not only for taxes but also for buying equipment and, and chemicals. It's very difficult, it's a long process. And in the productive sector we see a little bit, but it's, this is improving, lack of interest to invest in research and development and to innovate. There's resistance to work collaboratively and um, it's difficult for them to identify their real needs. Here I present the budget of CONCITEC. You know, uh, as, as you can see, in the two last years, our budget has increased considerably and, and now we manage uh, more or less $63 million. And that's, that's all. Uh, thank you very much and sorry again for not being here with you in person.